I was fortunate enough to grow up in the Gambia and in Senegal, and later moved to the United States to graduate high school. I've always been interested in how human cultures experience and represent their relationships with people and the natural environment around them. I really wanted to do the Bachelors of Science in Cultural Anthropology at the FU Amsterdam uh, because of their international classroom. The international classroom was a place where diversity and differing values was really the starting point of being able to communicate different cultures and different perspectives. Early on at my time in the FU, I became a student mentor. And as a student mentor, I helped guide incoming students and teach them about how to face certain obstacles in entering the university environment. And when the COVID pandemic hit, I really identified key aspects of the program that could be changed and redesigned in order to better support students who were, would now be studying online or would be communicating in very different ways. For my bachelor's thesis, I went to the Kenimer Down and, and wanted to study the conservation of that landscape. In particular, I wanted to know what kinds of identities emerged from collaborative governance of the national park. I wanted to see how governance actors collaborated with communities, nature, and each other to reach certain conservation goals, especially during the COVID pandemic. I also just experienced the park through my senses. I went in and I smelled the different smells and I felt the different textures of all the plants and really tried to understand how I would give nature a voice in my writing about nature conservation and governance of an ecological system. I think that using such a perspective in biocultural conservation would be extremely valuable for conserving natural resources and people's relationships to the land.